I recently attended the Agricultural Liquid Fertilizer Field Day in St. John's, Michigan. I had the opportunity to sit down with Galen Beer, who is the Senior Sales Manager. So Galen, in Ohio we've got you know, fertilizer regulations on spreading dry and with a, you know, a MAP and a DAP program of 200 to 250 um, pounds per acre. How does a liquid product such as yours in relatively small volumes still feed that crop with, with enough nutrients from a traditional dry program? Yeah, you know, Bart, that's a question we often get because it is a change of mindset when you're used to applying all of these nutrients. And, you know, the I always say the plant doesn't really care what you put on the soil, and that's what we have to separate is what we're putting on the soil and what the plant's actually using. And that's one reason we're kind of under a microscope is a lot of what's being put out there isn't being used by the plant. It's going to unintended destinations. What we do as a company is we're manufacturing our products in a specific way so that when you apply it to the field, the plant is going to utilize as much as close to 100% of that nutrition as we can possibly get it to use. And so we're not concerned with what we're putting on the soil, we're concerned with are we putting enough for the plant to use and get a proper response. And so yes, you might apply less to the soil. But what we're doing is making sure that what we put out there is getting used and giving a positive response in that plant. So is there a rule of thumb with, you know, gallon applied to an equivalent pounds of, of nutrient? There is, Bart. And so I always hesitate to go down that road a little bit because we are a soil test based company. And part of the reason is, is that uh, nutrients don't act independently, they're related to each other. Phosphorus is very reactive, so you may have a very low phosphorus level in your soil, but there may be a reason for it, such as you ha have high calcium or something. But, as a general rule, we would say that we would take one gallon of our Pro Germinator to replace 10 pounds of that dry broadcast DAP that people have done. Uh, we would use one gallon of our High Energy N that would replace you know, four and a half pounds of nitrogen from another source like urea. So again, we're not applying as many pounds to the soil, but we are a company that has a good agronomic staff, a good research staff. We're always out there in the fields. We're always looking at the products on our own farm, making sure that the practices we're promoting are sustainable and are doing the job for the farmer. For more information on agriculture liquid fertilizers, research, and products, visit agroliquid.com.